If you own a Ford 10-speed transmission, let me give you some bad news. This is the new TSB out for the 10R60 and the 10R80 transmissions found in the Explorers, Rangers, F-150s, and Expeditions all built before the year 2024, all the way back to like 17. Here's the TSB number, 232250, and this is a long TSB with a lot of information. I wanna tell you what the actual problem here is, what you need to be concerned about. Here in front of me, I have two CDF drums out of a 10R80 transmission. So this drum is called the CDF drum because it houses the C clutch, the D clutch, and the F clutch. The actual issue with the CDF drum isn't the drum, it's the bushing that they put inside the drum. Now I want you to pay close attention to these three holes, right? One, two, three. And then if you look kind of from the top at mine, you can almost kind of see uh, almost resemblance of a hole right there. Now I want you to come from looking at that over to looking at the new one. Now notice one, two, three, but they're much bigger holes, right? They're a lot bigger. And then on this side, see, we can fully see. That is because this bushing has slid. That line right there is where the bushing used to sit. You can start to see the feed hole that would be feeding one of these feed holes for the CDF clutches, right? These Teflon seals seal here and here, and then the bushing is supposed to seal on this hole. The top Teflon seal here is completely gone on our shaft. That is because that bushing slid. Lucky for you, the guys at Ford thought about you. They said they don't want you to keep having issues with this down the road. So they were smart enough to say, hey, let's redesign this. What they did was they put a lip here on the top of that bushing so that it couldn't slide upwards like the last one. They fixed the issue, but unfortunately for you, it took them five, six years to do it. 17 on the F-150s, 18 on the Expeditions, all the way up to 23, and the Explorers are all affected by the same service bulletin. If you own a 10-speed and you're starting to have weird shift issues, I almost guarantee this is your issue. And even if it's not your issue, I highly recommend that you replace it with this new drum.